Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 52 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So we look at this system. This is a power transmission, right? So power generator will generate the power with the P as this number. So 225 and then uh, 225 MW. This uh, is a power from generator. And then the cable length L is given. The voltages on the cable is also given, right? And ask you uh, what design uh, the cable. It can just make the energy lost on this cable just 2%. So now it looks like, see if we look at the cable, the material is given, length is given, looks like we need to know its diameter, right? Yeah, so we need to find its diameter. And then this uh, tell us the aluminum um, cable, so the re re resistivity is given. So we come back, we list the given quantities. Mm -hmm. We can see the given quantity tell us the loose power is just the 2% of the total power, right? So 2% of total power. And the P is given, so we need to look at the loose power. So loose power is the power consumed on the cable, right? And the power consumed on the cable can write as I squared times R, right? The current squared times R. And this R is just the resistance for the cable. So we can use a resistivity, L divided by A, right? And zero L divided by A. And so replace A as the pi that R squared. So R is a D over 2. So we can write it this way. So there we in introduce the di uh, diameter there. The second one, we look at the current. As we can see, the total power is given, the voltages on this cable is given, so we can write it as a P over V to get the current there, right? Now we input the I and R inside, we can get the equation for the loose power. So we come back, we introduce this uh, loose power at there, and then in this equation, you can see, um, only the D is the unknown quantities. So we just uh, convert this equation, get the function for D, and then input all the given quantity, you get answer there. Thank you.